So guys, Office 2019 is also coming. There are going to be some changes to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. These are some good changes. For example, uh, a lot of the people are starting to use Microsoft Office on tablets or on Microsoft Surface, or a lot of the uh, computers that are being used are touchscreen. So what Microsoft uh, has had decided to do is to introduce Microsoft Ink, uh, which allows you to use stylus or pen to do highlights in a Word document or make notes and some, some cool things. Uh, similarly, in Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft has introduced this very cool thing called Morph, which is also available right now in Office 365, uh, but will going to be available further in um, the next version in Office 2019, uh, alongside some Zoom features. It is also expected some, that some cool charts will going to be added in Microsoft Excel. Uh, and better ways of presenting data. Also, there's a big push for people who want to work in real time and they would like to do collaborative work. So that's another thing. Uh, Google has been doing it for some time with Google Drive, Google Docs, for a very, very long time. But now Microsoft is also pushing for being able to introduce real-time work where collaborative work, multiple people can be working on the document at the same time or on an Excel spreadsheet at the same time or PowerPoint at the same time. Uh, Microsoft has introduced this feature, uh, but now it's promoting it more and more. Everybody will not going to be forced to go cloud, uh, but there's a lot of push for subscription-based services. And, that's, and one of the ways to do this is that even now, uh, Microsoft's um, uh, Office 365 has a feature like Morph, for example, or uh, Design Ideas in PowerPoint, which is not available on the regular um, Office 2016, which is computer-based. So there is a little push for people to go to cloud on some features. So there are, these are some of the features that are available in Office 2019 when it becomes available later this year.